Yes, this is John Abraham, one of the greatest R&B artists, Neo, will be performing in Shillong on the 18th of November at the Cherry Blossom Festival. A talented artists performing there like Sanam, Hybrid Theory, Jodas Blue, and you know what? One of my favorites, Ron and Keating. So go, book your tickets. The Joint Action Committee, Jonki Kinho and Badon Han Northeastern Hale University, Nehu. Bakin top yaga nehu ta, nehun sa, bakin nehu su, kila rai ban pensangye shwa shipor, yakin jiak hi kabalas dang, na duo ka khat lai tarik mentau benai. Kani ka rai jongka JSC, kala mi hadin, bikila yo ban yakren badu vice chancellor kate ka school ba, u professor Prabha Shankar Shukla, hene ka singi pale, khat riya tarik u benai nai wing. Haba pin benai yakin ka rai, u chairman jongka JSC, u professor Lakhon Kema, u loong ba, ka JSC. Kampat weng satia, yaka jiak hi kat ba ompat yo, yaka jing dawa ki balabo hakmat ki buar penyai. Hendre na ka benta ka jing yad bed jong ki kam, pat kam tam, maka don ka jing ban kreat yaki exams. Na kaliang jong ka JSC, kelarai ban pensangye shwa shipor yaka jiak hi, pat na du la shai ka sengi ka kat nyo tarik, ka jing pentari kam hapo ka nehu kan zdang biang kumba julong. Ulai tuho ba, haka jiak ren. Na kaliang jong visi, Ula kular ban khot yaga jialang jong ka Academy Council haka tayo ban ningkong jong ubenay no opera. Bala rairu ban thung yaka komiti ka ban bishar yaki jing dawa jong ka GSC. Bat yaki jing ay jing mut jong ka komiti. On sara ban yakren hapok Academy Council ban nyo jing benjur. Of course we had a discussion but we also know that there are more discussions is required. So a committee has is being formed who will look into this matter come up with suggestion. Put it to academic council, and naturally it will be the wisdom of academic council to, to deliberate and approve whatever formula best suits the student community who really needs this help. And we all know that the backward area uh, uh, representation is ideally for those places where literacy rate is really low in some village or some block. Uh, but of late, we all know that it has been misused you know, in a multiple of ways. So to avoid any misuse of this, so that the really the benefit goes to those that deserve it, I think that committee will look into it and come bring it to the uh, uh, to, to the uh, uh, to the academic council for approval. So overall, of course, as you can see that. Ben yeah. So and 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 he also promised us that the academic council will be held because. Last week of November seems to be a little tight. So first week of December, where most of this issue, most likely the particularly the issue related to students will be taken up there, including inviting them as a special invitee in this academic council, so that you know things are, are, are on the track. Uh, beyond this, I think when you look at this, basically the first one was the most uh, contentious issue. Rest of them actually are very, um, you know, you can say a routine matter that could have been easily addressed if somebody took a proactive step. Having said that, I think uh, we are very happy to, to, to inform all our members, ST members, sorry you have been waiting here for quite some time, uh, but it's really no fault because when you are arguing on an issue which, is, which has totally two different views, naturally I think it requires some kind of argument to be made and then uh, I'm happy to say that all members have pitched in at the right time uh, to come to this uh, decision which is in the interest of the university, it is in the interest of the students teachers, non-teaching staff, and I think for the entire state of Meghalaya. Now, with this outcome, of course, we also have to announce that for now, we are going to suspend the agitation. We are putting it under suspended animation. From tomorrow, all classes will go on normally. Office also will perform normally. We have not call off, mind you. I will, let me repeat. We have not call off. We have just suspended it because the appropriate decision will be taken when Jack sits again among ourselves and in our EC. We will decide the, uh, the future course of action for now in order to help the administration carry on with their routine work because files are piling up for students, exams and tests and assignment has to be completed. We have to complete our course. Exam is going to start, let's say, for 1st of December. So from tomorrow, normal classes will be held, which is in the interest of the student, in the interest of the teachers, and I think the university as a whole. So that, let us announce from here, I think with the, the permission of co-chairman from uh, Nihuns, the, the representing Nihunsa, Nihusu, and of course Nihuta, uh, let us announce that we have called off the agitation for the time being. Sorry, sorry, we have suspended the, the agitation for the time being. And we will see how these things, you know, get resolved in times to come. Because then we will be watchful, like you all know. We will be very, very watchful, fully. There will be no breach of, of, of the decision that has been taken, a breach of trust that we have really. And, and we all understand, you know. So I, I would like to thank 
on behalf of Chairman of Jack, along with the co-chairman from Nihusu and of course Nihunsa, thank all the members for your untiring support. You have come time and again to be shifted from a normal position to someone else. But it is there. It's there and, and some update is going on, which is perfectly okay because uh, some ordinances are redundant, we all know. But the Nehu Act statutes are, are permanent, so there's no change there. But it is available and we confirm it's inside. The holding of regular convocation has also been addressed very seriously and we, we have impressed upon that there should be a calendar. It should be a gala event for the university like we used to have earlier. For this time, indeed, he is waiting for the uh, President of India's uh, approval, which is neither received as, uh, as except the, neither the consent was given, nor the rejection was given. So naturally, when you have uh, returned to the President of India, you have to wait for the response from the Office of the President of India. So pending that acceptance or rejection or the consent from the uh, Visitor's Office, uh, that this year's convocation will depend on that. But we made it a point that for, uh, for next time, because this, according to, of course, it also makes sense, this is the 50th year of our uh, foundation. So he said that we wanted the President of India, which is perfectly okay for this year. But we said it should not be uh, for all times to come, because if we can get some Nobel laureates, some really great academicians, or even governor, we should not postpone our convocation. It should be a calendar, and I think that has been agreed upon. Coming to the holding of the uh, marking system, I think there is a committee uh, has been constituted. Uh, I think you all know that initially I was the chairman, but then there is a conflict of interest, and I wrote back to the registrar copy to VC that I cannot be chairman of that committee because we are heading this uh, JAG. So I cannot be chairman of JAG and also committee of uh, chairman of that committee who is going to find solution. So we said that then it is left to the students to suggest a name of a chairman who will chair the committee and that committee's report of course will be put to academic council and then again the council will approve it at due course of time. Coming to the inclusion of elected members Nihusu in academic council, I think this of course we all know those who are in academic council and those who are, who are not, that this has to, it, it will require the ordinance, tweaking of ordinance a little bit on academic council composition because so far we have two students by merit. This, he in principle has agreed that it will be representation representation from the elected office bearers of Nihusu, let's say president and secretary. So instead of by going by merit of a student who doesn't know what association is taking up the issue, association representation will be there. So that will require, but for this time, I, for this time what they have done is, they have said that a BCN agreed that they, they will be invited in the coming normal academic council, the students will be invited which is, of course, as his prerogative, so that, you know, the issues can be taken up, but necessary change will be made. Happy to say that I think this meeting has been successful. And why I say so, probably we come. Now, we were, without going into the detail, I'll come to the first point, which was the removal of this uh, person whom we have, we, I'm tired of taking his name now, so let's not take his name. Uh, uh, so, uh, since that person is out for last more than 15 days, his service is not required in Nehu anymore. And VC will initiate necessary action to end the process and put a full stop. That is one. Now, coming to the immediate appointment of the statutory officers in general, already uh, between 20th to 25th is the date, 22nd November is the date that VC has, which of course came in the press, he said the appointments of these will be done, which means the selection committee is going to sit on these days, which is also okay because that was also our immediate demand. The third, of course, the uh, condition of our university health center. Uh, he apprised us that uh, all necessary steps has been taken to procure the medicines through the normal road. And then the appointment of these uh, uh, technicians who have to conduct this test because we don't have people there will be initiated immediately and if necessary, even on co contractual basis, so that our routine blood sugar and, and uric acid and other tests can be, lab tests can be done. So that is positive. Coming to the relieving of technical and uh, teaching and technical staff from ministerial duty, I think we have made it very clear that uh, academic is the priority, and he agreed. I mean, what is nice is he agreed that academic is the priority. So if anybody feels that there is your, your, it's hampering your job of teaching by being here, you can very humbly write to the vice chancellor, you will be relieved without any issue because, like I said, we can't force our member because you are appointed as a teacher. If you think you are capable of doing teaching job as well as running administration here, 
with one salary if you can do two job i think god bless them i mean that is how i would look at it but it was it was a, a very clear that uh, nobody would be forced to do this duty and very soon uh, we are told that the advertisement for ar and dr is also going so naturally the moment you have ar dr appointed naturally uh, their service anyway will not be uh, required but there is no compulsion whatsoever for them to continue hampering their <laughs> academic activity which means you are free to move out concentrate on your teaching research whatever you want if you feel that being in the administrative building is hampering your day to day work